All right, uh, so here is uh, another question on the chain rule. Uh, so let me just emphasize that this is about chain rule. So we've got to use chain rule to chain rule. All right, uh, so what do we have here? So here W is a function of x, y, and z. So W is a function of x, y, and z. And then in turn, x is a function of t, y is a function of t, and z is also a function of t. So x is a function of t, y is a function of t, and z is also a function of t. All right, so which means that now if we substitute x, uh, well, the expressions for x, y, and z in terms of t into back into w, then w becomes a function of t. And we've got to find its derivative with respect to t, evaluated at the point t equals 1, according to the chain rule, right? So how do we do that? Now, uh, when we're supposed to do it as, at a specific point, the easier thing to do is to sort of compute, um, rather than, um, you know, substituting, substituting back all the expressions into w and then differentiating, uh, it is easier to uh, first compute the corresponding values of x, y, and z, right? So if t equals 1, so what are going to be x, y, and z? So x equals t, which is just 1 y is ln 1, which is just 0, and z is e to the 1 minus 1, which is just 1. Okay, so x is 1, y is 0, z is 1. So now uh, let us apply the chain rule, right? So the derivative of w with respect to t is the derivative of w with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to t plus the derivative of w with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to t plus the derivative of w with respect to z times the derivative of z with respect to t. Okay, so wx is, uh, right, so we are differentiating this expression. Okay, so z uh, is independent of x, so uh, minus sine, the derivative of sine is, is cosine, so minus cosine of uh, x, y times the derivative of x, y with respect to x is just y. Right, so times the derivative of x with respect to t. So it's just 1 plus. Now, uh, the derivative of w with respect to y. Right, so and again, uh, we've got to differentiate our w, but now with respect to y, basically, of the same kind of reasoning, um, stop. we will get minus uh, sine, sorry, cosine. The derivative of sine is, is cosine, so cosine of xy, but now time times x. Okay, times the derivative of y with respect to t, uh, and y is long t, right? So it's 1 over t. Mm -hmm. So plus uh, the derivative of w with respect to z. Um, and it's just 1, apparently, times the derivative of z with respect to t. And that is just uh, e to the t minus 1. Okay, so let me, you know, just, just to... Um, again, uh, show you uh, what what is where here. So wx is this. Wy is this, right? And wz is just. Okay, so now at this point we are substituting t equals 1 into the equation and also the corresponding values of x, y, and z, right? So x is 1, y is 0, and z is 1. 
Okay, so cosine of um, x times y. So x is 1, y is 0. Uh, 1 times 0 is 0. Cosine 0 is 1. So minus 1 times y is 0. Times 1. Minus. So cosine of, uh, again, now we, we have cosine 0, which is just 1. Times x is um, plus 1 times t is 1, so 1 divided by 1, plus 1 times e to the, uh, I guess, 1 minus 1, and this is just 0, minus 1 plus 1, so which is 0, so 0 is the answer.